Uh, Meteor News, uh, I would have done it earlier, but I forgot the camera, so I just cycled like 200 miles in 15 minutes. Anyway, uh, Meteor London News. This is written and normally delivered by the wonderful Richard Silverton, but he can't be here tonight due to reasons. The news. Where do we get the news from? It's very important to show you're working in any computation. Uh, if you are interested in keeping up to date and in a more regular situation than monthly, you should follow Meteor.js for the official news. But the real news goes on in the community world. These guys, uh, this week in Meteor, they do good work. Meteor Point, new site, check it out. Lots of good facts. Crater IO, obviously, been around for ages. Very good for keeping up to date. The forums, try your luck. Uh, this, the very best document for keeping up with what is real and true in the future of Meteor. Uh, so that's where I get most of my facts from. It is the history.markdown file in their GitHub repos where our wonderful Meteor lives. So what's new? Meteor 1.1.1 is in the pipe. It will be delivered any moment now. Could be released while we're here, who knows? What does that mean for us? Spacebars sub expressions. What does that mean? <laughs> uh, handlebars, so Mustache once upon a time was a logicless templating language uh, and that dream is dead. Uh, so the first nail in the coffin was handlebars. And they were like, well, some <coughs> logic is OK. Sometimes you want a conditional. Sometimes you, know, you have to do some logic in the front end. Uh, spacebar sub-expressions lets you nest calls to helpers within one spacebar's handlebars template. And very quickly, it starts to look like Lisp. And if I see it in any of your code, you'll fail a code review. Um, but if you need it, it's there. Email attachments, we love them, right? right? Right. Anyway, it's, it's all batteries included. So if you have been sending emails with Meteor, now you can send emails with Meteor with attachments, which might be good for Dropbox if, you, you know, if you're offline and it recognizes your computer's on fire. And it's like, you tell, I'll tell you what, I'll use the email attachments feature instead. Uh, this one wasn't in the news, but uh, I, this is my favorite one because it's fully geeky. Uh, per message deflate has been enabled on the WebSocket connection. That's rad. <laughs> all right, it's rad because it means that not only is all our communication just database diffs over JSON over WebSockets, but now they're database diffs over JSON on WebSockets, and every single JSON message has been deflated. So that's a more efficient uh, compression routine than gzip. So it's now compressed data over the wire, so it's even faster. <coughs> yeah, that's OK. Uh, and loads of other stuff. If you haven't ever seen it, it looks like a markdown document. You should totes read it. It's hot. Meteor 1.2. This one's going to be big. It's the big one. Oh my god. Uh, later this summer, so that in developer terms means good, good, good luck. Yeah, it means that they hope to release it. Um, but that's kind of exciting because uh, one of the expressed goals of Meteor going forwards is to be the most pleasant ES 2015, ES 6 development experience out there. Uh, so that means lots of fun things, fat arrow functions, any fancy feature that you can see coming down the pipe in uh, ES 2015 uh, via Babel, uh, you will be able to write. And that will all be handled for you. If, you've, if you play with Babel, it's very good. It works. Um, if you play with Browserify, you are already used to having someone else monkey around with your code. If you've ever used CoffeeScript, then you know these, these transpilers work. And so Meteor is going to bake that right into the ISO build stuff so that you can happily write your future forward thinking JavaScript and it'll just work in browsers. Neat. Uh, first class support for these guys, yawn, whatever. Um, rate limiting for subscriptions. So you put out an API on the internet and you say, please, it's all my beautiful data. And then suddenly there are nefarious people like Richard Silverton, for example, who started slurping down all of the data in uh, atmosphere and and on the quiet, got an email saying, could you please stop hitting that endpoint for your Twitter bot that you've built? Because it's really starting to slow the service down. So now, recognizing that that is a core problem everyone faces, uh, publishing the data is one problem, but then publishing it slow enough when you recognize behavior patterns that are probably malicious, that's a tricky problem. And usually something that developers punt till it's too late. So Meteor is going to start supporting that in core, which is super neat. 
uh, ISO Build, the wizard system that allows Meteor to crank out your LESS files, your SAS files, your ES2015 JavaScript files, that's always been configurable, but the, the configuration has been hmm, for wizards only. Uh, the future is better. They're, they're working on a system for just allowing simple build plugins. So for my personal favorite, that means I can get auto prefixer working with my CSS for Meteor, which will be nice. <laughs> Community. Um, so this is the, the real Meteor news. That's all the like, hyperbole. I just edited this, so that's not cool. But um, in this line noise, what I was trying to get the point across was uh, Kadira. So if you've got a Meteor app in production and you want some information about its performance, Kadira is really useful. Well, they're just releasing an upgrade, which gives you exciting new toys, such as but bu what? But bu uh, uh, exciting new toys such as a flame graph. Uh, flame graphs are cool. I could explain why, but it just shows you where your CPU is wasting time in a pretty infographic. Kadira's got them. It's got loads of other toys as well. Nee, 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 nee. Uh, Mongol 2, if you want to know what's actually going on in your Mongo database and you find the command line a bit tedious, uh, Mongol is a drop-in package that uh, visualizes the state of your Mongo database. It's a database browser that can pop up in a little um, uh, div in your uh, Meteor app. Uh, Velocity Helpers has been released. Um, these, these are written mostly by the very nice folks at Zolvio, um, and they help you with your testing Meteor issues. And what they've done with Velocity Helpers is just really, really kind of try to pick out the pain points of doing like integration testing in Meteor and create a, s a series of helpers that just simplify that right down. So if you're doing a lot of testing in Meteor, you should check out that package. If you are interested in React, whatever, uh, Sideburns 0.2.0 brings a lot more of the React goodness to Meteor. So it's definitely worth checking out. I will fix this slide. It'll be better. I'll post the links on the meetup. You'll be able to dig it out. So to wrap things up, Meteor London is a community event. It's about you guys. It's not about me. We need your news. We need you to get in touch. Uh, Meetup, as you've probably noticed, is where y'all hit the RSVP button. And that is all you should use it for. It is terrible. I don't mind going on record. Uh, we are developers, and we live our lives on GitHub and Gitter. And please contact us through those mediums, ideally. If you really can't fathom them out, then come to our office and we will explain how to use GitHub and Gitter so that you can then contact us. Uh, Meteor London, next. That's where we plan the next event. If you have some news, tell us. If you have a talk, tell us. If you don't have a talk, write a talk, then tell us. And we'll be good. That's all, folks. That's been the Meteor News with me, Ollie Ziller, speaking the words of Richard Silverton.